Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. We had all sorts of interesting adventures last time we were here. We were, well, we just took out the Seamoth actually. Billy No Mates over here. We went on a very long trip and we found our way into the, um, the, the Brine River, the, the Ghost River or whatever you want to call it, the river underneath the whole planet by the look of it, a, a river of brine, and we went up that one and we found an alien facility with all kinds of alien research technology and it was very exciting. It was very, very exciting. A lot of things happened and then you know, we, we came on back and on the way back we seen something that looked like the Reaper Leviathan and it completely ignored us actually. I think I I think it did sort of pay attention to us a little bit, but it looked sort of like that, but ghostly in form. And I have been told by many, many people that it was nothing but an absolute miracle that we escaped unharmed from that one. It is known as the Ghost Leviathan, and it is one of the most dangerous creatures in the game. It will easily chew a hole in the side of Billy Nomates over there. It would also chew a hole in the side of the Frith Marine up there. And it is nothing short of a miracle that that thing ignored us as we went sailing on by. So, I didn't know that at the time, but I'm now immensely grateful that uh, we, we didn't end up all dead and stuff, because that, that wouldn't have been so good. Uh, right in here, we've got a few gel sacks. We need to get some more gel sacks. And I'd also like to um, use a piece of advice that somebody gave me, and that is put a big cupboard up here somewhere, um, and then fill it up with gel sacks and get loads of gel sacks so that we can have uh, plenty spare so that we can keep that thing stuffed full. So we'll probably do that a little bit later. But before we do anything else, we are going to go and have a look at some of the new stuff that we got. Now, we got uh, well, the blueprints are the cooked spinefish. Don't need to worry too much about those. We got hoop fish there. Um, Gary fish are really good. Whole fish, boomerang. What is that? Is it the spine fish that we wanted? You got the spine fish, the hoop fish, the cooked spade fish, the peeper, the whole fish. There was a different one. I don't think we actually scanned it. However, it was highly nutritious. We ate one and it was incredibly nutritious and it was very good for us. And so we enjoyed that. We had this one here, this radio transmission come up. Listen. It came up shortly after we blasted one of the warpers with that. So um, it has been suggested by a number of viewers that perhaps um, the warper is just swearing at us. Um, which is kind of understandable, really, or, you know, after what we did. But he did warp us and absolutely terrify us. So I, I feel that it was... Um, we, we had reason. We, we had grounds to do so. Um, I've also been suggested that near the Degassi habitat, maybe a little bit further along, I should build myself a base deep down there in the cavern so that we're near there and then we can like take a trip up through the cavern and we're a bit closer, it's a lot easier to get to. Uh, I may very well do that because we can put a, a like a, a tank in there and we can store some of those deep underground fish and that would work really well. Um, what we're going to do first... Hang on a minute, I just I just need to wet my whistle and then we're going to look through some of the data that we picked up because there's all kinds of things that we need to find out from what we've discovered so far. Okay, we have ribcage samples, a display can, a display case containing an array of ribcage sample, uh, harvest, uh, rib cages harvested from indigenous life forms, in particular focus in this instance of vertebrae, uh, skeletal structures, while some of these skeletons match organisms count on the planet so far, most cannot be matched with confidence. Suggesting either there are species out there not yet accounted for or that they have become extinct since the samples were collected. Remains of research specimen. Now this thing was a huge great big thing inside the research facility. It was lying out on the ground and this, it was huge. Skeletal remains of a vast predator housed within an artificial habitat. The habitat itself, the environment constructed to house the specimen, suggests it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported ex extensive plant life though it has since decayed. When the facility collapsed, the specimen was either left to die or killed on the spot. While it shares some skeletal traits with the biter and sand shark, including its distinctive double eye sockets, this fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms, rarely seen in aquatic species. This species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years, and its evolutionary relatives have evolved almost beyond recognition. This thing was huge. It was absolutely enormous. And then we got the River Prowler, this thing right here, a fast agile predator discovered at great depths. 
they look kind of worrying. They really did. Powerful jaws used for both savaging prey and warding off larger predators. His eel-like torso is highly vulnerable, consisting predominantly of a spinal column and cartilage. It shows significant overlap with other eel-like predators on 4546B. Uh, that's the planet we're on, just in case that uh, if you're new to the series. Um, it will aggressively keep its jaws facing its opponent, but smaller bastard life forms may have the advantage. Assessment, avoid. Probably a good idea. Uh, we didn't scan that ghost leviathan, and I got no intention of ever doing so either. We had several of these. We got some scan datas. We got some terminal datas as well. Uh, warper parts. Now, this was here. The organic parts on display contain DNA from dozens of different organisms largely originating off-world. They are in varying states of augmentation with advanced technologies. This production line setup suggests these self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens that designed this facility. So it looks like the warpers on this planet that have been causing us a bit of problems but actually they haven't caused us all that much problem but they're not from this planet they are to do with the aliens self-warping quarantine enforcer unit that's the bad boy right there we've seen this all being built its life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting its digestion pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented with advanced processing power and remote communications. Programmable hunter killer avoid. Okay, so these things are dangerous and we do have to watch out for them, but they're not like the end of the world dangerous. Damage report right here. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor cable system buckling, facility sinking. Collision with sea floor. Breaches detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen product, uh, destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed, one specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off site sanctuaries. Planetary pro quarantine protocol initiated. Oh dear. Infected individuals may not leave the planet. Uh. Right. The Degassi habitat down there was damaged by a Leviathan. But it also appears that the alien unit down there, the, this whole facility down there where they were busy doing a load of research, was attacked by a leviathan. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter closing at speed. He came in, smashed into the anchors. He or she came in, smashed into the anchor cables, and they sunk to the seafloor, and then there was a collision. Breaches detected in containment unit 7 with the leviathan eggs. They were keeping the eggs in there and they were doing study on the eggs. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. So we found a whole load of dead creatures in there and skeletons and stuff like that. So they, they were all destroyed. 314 specimens destroyed. One specimen was unaccounted for. Was that the big skeleton that we found in the Brine River beforehand? Did it like escape, grow bigger and then die there? I don't know, but this is what caused the whole leak of the bacteria. The, um, the I can't remember what it is that we're infected with. Uh, Cara, there, Cara contagion report. Terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Cara. First encountered during routine network expansion on outer worlds. Pandemic development. Network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core world. Confirmed deaths 143 billion individuals. Good gravy, man. Contagion was uploaded and spread quickly through the core worlds through a procedure failure. Wow. 143 billion deaths. Attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Uh, this is bad. Um, gradual immune system failure. Stage 2 green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms. Stage 3 unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Stage 4 complete shutdown of executive function. Emergency steps taken. Core worlds quarantine. Bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. Procedure treatment procedure unknown right core worlds were current quarantined all the core core worlds where this happened this is alien core worlds by the way this is not our core worlds this is the alien core worlds they were quarantined after this disease 
escape. So it wasn't, I was thinking biological warfare. That was what I was saying last time. Biological warfare is what was causing it, but it doesn't look like it's biological warfare at all. Look here. Pandemic development network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. They first encountered this on one of the outer worlds. It was just a contagion. The contagion was accidentally uploaded and spread through the core worlds and it killed 143 billion people. So then, massive panic in the alien nation. They are trying to find just what they can do about it. Core worlds quarantined. Samples distributed to isolated research facilities for vaccine development. They desperately need to find a cure to this bad boy. And in this particular world, with that one right there, um, the infected individuals may not leave this planet. Uh, planetary quarantine protocol. They've got to be careful. 143 billion individuals have died because of this. And that is what this whole quarantine thing is. why this planet is being protected like it is. They cannot afford to let this thing escape no matter what. They had a bomb that would destroy not only this planet, but several others. It didn't look like it didn't work. So it was you know, another failure. So these aliens may have been severely, adva really advanced compared to us. Um, and they may have had uh, telepathy as well to interact with their technology in ways that we couldn't. But they did make mistakes. They also made mistakes. Right, ray species on 4546B. Different species of ray indigenous to 4546B each adapt to different environments. Specimen... What was that? Oh. Oh, that absolutely scared the life out of me for a minute. Specimens are 99.99 genetically identical to those encountered on the planet today, suggesting the rays in particular have undergone little evolutionary mutation in the past millennium. Ghost rays, jelly rays, crimson rays, and rabbit rays likely all share a common evolutionary ancestor. The alpha ray would have evolved deep in the ocean trenches, quickly growing in line with available food supplies. It would have resembled the ghost ray in size and appearance with translucent skin for camouflage and forward-mounted eyes for hunting, a fast and fearsome stalker of small creatures in the dark. While some rays have stayed within limits of the cave system they, where they first evolved, others are relatively more recent adaptations to new environments, likely the result of overpopulation. All of the rays on this planet have given up predation in favour of herbivorous scavenging and use poisonous flesh to protect themselves. Sea Dragon Egg. This large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilised. Without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the alien sought to study instead the egg laying and incubation process. To what end? is unclear. Well, they were using it to try and find... I'm guessing this is what they were using. Um, this was part of the whole thing for trying to find a cure for this horrible, horrible disease that they've all encountered. And it's causing them problems. Um, but, yeah. And then they were attacked by a Leviathan, and that kind of put pay to all of that, didn't it? So... The aliens are really advanced, but they have also made mistakes. They are in a desperate... Ball. Well, they were... This was millennia ago, it's a long time ago. They were in a desperate battle to try and save their own kind. Did they succumb? Is this why these aliens aren't there anymore? Did they succumb to the effects of this particular um, disease and that basically wiped them off the face of the earth? Or face of the universe, I should say? Or not? Who knows? We don't, we absolutely don't know at the moment. We don't know what the cause of it was. We don't, we don't, we don't. We, we know nothing. We know nothing about any of it. Um, we just come out here. So I've got, actually, I've got a whole load of stuff in my bags at the moment. So let me just go and empty out some of this stuff. Welcome. Right, I've emptied out a load of stuff, and now we can go and get some of these gel sacks. I'm not going to worry about those mushrooms over there at the moment, but I will harvest a few gel sacks so that I've got some more materials ready for our um, power plant up in that room up there. The best way to do the gel sacks is you do two attacks on each of them, and that gives you two seeds. And then you can pick up the gel sack, and you don't, you don't lose any gel sacks at all doing it this way. Uh, how many have we got? we got room for several more. If I take those, and there, and then that one as well. There, and then I can pick up these gel sacks like this, just like that. Inventory full. And then I can start planting the seeds back down again. All right, I've got bags full of gel sacks. There's two gel sacks left over there. They're fine. Uh, so we will go down this way and we'll put a few into the machine up here. There we go. Uh, it's, it's got some left in it. It is using them up, but we'll drop a load of gel sacks in here like this. And then we can make a chest up here as well. 
can't actually remember what the recipe for that one is. So let's just swap over. We'll put our habitat builder there instead of the stasis rifle. And we will build it. I haven't forgotten that we're going to be building a prawn suit today. Do not fear. I have not forgotten the plan to build the prawn suit. I also want to build alien containment because we're going to be wanting to do some stuff with that. So I need one quartz, two titanium for that one right there. Uh, let's go back down and get that a minute. I think I've got two quartz. Oop, wrong way. I don't want to go that way. I want to go up this way. It's easy to get lost in this house. It's so big now that it is actually easy to get lost in my own house. Which is fantastic. I've always wanted a house big enough to get lost in. I think it would just be really awesome to be able to say that I get lost in my own house. I think that would just be brilliant. Absolutely awesome fun. Okay. Uh, yeah, this room up here I don't need to do too much to. Um, I'm not planning to like do any extensions off of this room. I'm just going to keep this one just as it is. And now I want you, the large freestanding locker, I'm going to put... Uh, actually, I'm going to move over this way slightly that right up against the wall if I can there put that one there and then I'm going to put another one right beside it over here as well exchange power source there we go right there's the power source exchanged and yeah I want one more I don't want to do that I want to go like that and I want to get another locker there which I'm going to put right beside it Gotta come out a little bit, surely. There. Right about there, that'll do. So I've got two lockers here. I can put a load of these um, gel sacks in these lockers. There we go. And that's going to. So we, we'll do a little bit of this today. We can sort of move them over as and when we get the gel sacks available. And then once we've done. Uh, they're growing quite quickly, they are. Uh, yeah, once we've done that, we can then. Um, worry about uh, other things. Somebody else has suggested they'd like me to put a locker somewhere close by here so that I can easily put the salt into it. Because you get two salt on each one, plus you get the water. Um, and the water will keep going. You, but you do get two salt and then two water each time it fills up. So we don't need like loads of it. It would be a good idea if we're going to build a base deep underground uh, inside the cave, we're going to want a filtration machine with us and we're also going to want an alien containment in order to be able to build up a few things um, but no the, right now the prawn suit is the thing that we want we want to build the prawn suit so we need two of those um, what else was it I wanted I need the two plaz steel I remember I need those and after that I don't remember so let's let's go and have a look in these Actually, no, I don't want to do it in those at all. I want to put that away. And I want to look in here. In here. And then we can go and have a look. So, we're going to need... We also need the depth upgrades. That is going to be another thing we want. Is the depth upgrades for uh, the sea moth. We can't use the depth upgrades anymore. I'm going to need these depth upgrades here. I've got a depth upgrade on the Cyclops already. But I need nickel ore. And I'm not sure where to get nickel from. I think if we go back to that sea treaders path, maybe we'll be able to find something there. Um, or go down deeper still. Maybe we need to go into the cave. But we want to make this one. I need one enamel glass, two diamond, and two lead. I should be able to make both of those. Or all of those. Uh, that one for the enamel glass. And that one there. Uh, two diamonds. Two leads. There. That is everything that I could possibly want in order to make this. So we go into there. I go to the fabricator. Uh, sustenance there. This is the new item. The spine fish. We can ignore those. Uh, I want to go there into basic material and I want to make some glass. And then after I've made that, I want to go back down here to enameled glass. And that is the window on the front of our little beastie that we're going to be building. I've got two batteries right here. They're both charged. And in here I've got uh, one empty battery. There. And you are both charged. Right. So I'll, I like to keep three batteries on me. It is generally quite handy. We do that. I'm running low on water. So before we go and make our prawn suit and start just having a little bit of a play around with it, because I think this thing is going to be very cool to play with, uh, we'll, we'll just have a quick bite to eat and uh, yeah, a little bit of a drink. There we go. We have had a bite to eat and a little bit to drink. And it's very dark outside, so let's not go just yet. Oh, what's the situation with the gel sacks? Gel sacks are ready to harvest again. I've, I haven't really got much room in my bag. So let's not worry about the gel sacks. 
Let's just go. Why is power running down so much? Is that just because of the water? Because I've got, um, we got power coming in from the heat plant over there, so there shouldn't be any issues with that. Let's just sleep a minute. We'll be able to go and check on this and make sure that, um, it is working. Here we go. We're sleeping. We're still sleeping. Oh, power's coming up again. It is because of the water thing. It's, it's all to do with the water thing, I'm sure of it. Um, the, the, the water machine busy, busy making water. As you look here, filtration complete, it stopped, and now the power is going back up again. Um, so yeah, I'm 99% I'm certain it is all to do with that. Because we've got our power coming in here. There's the beacon, it's sending the power in across. I mean, maybe we could get another heat thing. Um, so yeah, the, the advice I've been given is that we do want to go back to that underground river, and we could even like take the Frith Marine right inside. Um, and then sort of go from that point. However, we've got to get past that Ghost Leviathan, and getting past the Frith Marine might be considerably more difficult. There are other areas that we want to explore outside first anyway, and i got to get a few upgrades and things like that on this one before we can really um, go deep underground and explore some other things. But we don't need to worry about that right now. No, what we want to do right now is not that one. There's another one here somewhere. Where is it? No, it's not that one. Maybe it's directly above me. Nope, it's not directly above me. Let's go up a minute and see if we can find this. I reckon I've probably run into it with the Frith Marine. Oh, there it is. It's over there. I moved it all the way out over here so that it would be safe and wouldn't get hurt. And the Frith Marine has probably bumped right into it. Not far off. It's not far off of bumping right into it. So let's just come up here and mobile vehicle bay. What we want. I don't want to pack it up. Climb. That's what I want. Here we go. Now, are you ready? We are going to be building a prawn suit. I've been looking forward to making this one. There we go. We've got everything. We've got the plastic, we've got the aerogel, the enamel glass, the diamond, and the lead. Prawn suit. I've just clicked it. One first, piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. <laughs> prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self-discipline. Fantastic. We get feelings of unlimited power using the prawn suit. I like this. It's just kind of floating. I didn't think this thing floated at all. Here we go. Welcome Enter. Aboard, Captain. I'm sinking. Boom. Right. Uh. Huh. He punches. Ha ha ha. This thing is brilliant. It's got a 900 meter depth without any upgrades at all. And he jumps. Right, I'm pressing space. Oh, he just keeps going. He, he swims. That's, that is actually really cool. Oh, hang on. No, he doesn't. It's the pur See the purple? There's a, there's a purple bar that um, dictates how far he can go. And as I, yeah, see it on, on the right hand side there, that dictates how far this thing can go. Uh, so that you are limited to what you can do. I need some upgrades on this one now. I also want to go and find a sand shark and pick a fight with him, because, yo, why not? I got, I got this feeling of unlimited. Come here, sand shark. Come here. Come here, where are you? Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. <laughs> Brilliant! Come here! Come back! I'm gonna... <laughs> you, you, you have caused trouble for me too many times, buddy! Oh, yes! <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come back! This thing is cool! I am so glad we got this! Where are you? Have you run away? He's run away. Oh, disappointing. Disappointing. Can I take on? You know, the, the whole... Is, de is he dead? Have I killed him? He's looking stunned. Uh, He's not looking as healthy as he once did. That's for certain sure. Can we do something with him? Can I pick him up, maybe? I, c I can't do anything with him. I think I've actually... I've, I've, I've killed him! 
I did epic battle with the sand shark and I have killed him. Can I like slice pieces of meat off him or something for sustenance? I don't think I can. I think he's just gonna twitch. There's a lot of teeth in that thing. Um, okay, let's 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 stop being nasty and morbid. I've I've already um, beaten him to death, so we we can leave him we can leave him alone now. He's learned his lesson now that I <laughs> now that I've beaten him to death. He's learned his lesson. Um, I'm really nice, aren't I? I'm, I'm such a friendly person. Uh, I think we can actually dock this thing up there. It's going to be easier to do the upgrades if we've got him docked somewhere. So if I can get him up into this one. Is he going to reach? Is he going to reach? So close. So close. We need to get up onto that ledge and then we can jump from there. So we'll let it, fill, we'll let it power back up. Fill back up and then we can go up this way. We'll go forward. Up onto this ledge like this. There we go. Right. And then from here, I can then jump up to there and I can dock in the Frith Marine with this bad boy right here. Let's bring it over. Let's bring it over. Up, 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 up. Ah, failed at the first hurdle. Oh, I'm, um, no, it, it didn't work. Okay, we, we're going to leave it down here for a minute, I think. Um, maybe our best bet is to dock it up in this one. If I take Billy No Mates out and, and then I can dock the prawn suit in here, either that or I build another moon pool. Might be better if we just build another moon pool. What, what was the ingredients for the moon pool? I can't remember now. Um, let me go into here. Uh, base pieces. Moon pool right there. Lubricant, lead, titanium ingot. It's actually really easy. I could just build another moon pool and I got one for each. It'd be a, it, would certain, it would be easier if I could do that. I could do another moon pool right out the side. Which way do I do it? I've got bits that... I, I, I know what I'll do. i got bits out the side on there. Um, I could just come straight out this way. Like, do an extension on there and then go on to the end of it. That that might work that way. I'll tell you what. Let's go there. Uh, an eye tube. I could put a tube on there, like that. Um, the other option is a glass one, which I would actually like to do. I'd like to be able to put a glass one on there. Um, I like the glass tubings. I think they look really cool. So if I put that one there, I need some glass for it. So let's let's go and find let's go and, let's go and get some quartz and we get some glass and then we can come back and we can um, do, do some more stuff with this. So we want to go in the base. Uh, we've got we've got Welcome the quartz, board, which is in here. Uh, one, two, three, four. There is two pieces of glass right there. And then we need to build the moon pool. We'll worry about how we actually do that in a minute. Um, the getting the materials. It's, it's not going to take very long. We just need a bit of titanium. Mostly it's the bits that the, um, uh, the, the, the stalkers find. Those, those stalkers, the ones that I was so terrified of to start with, they really are nothing more than just little kitty cats. They're, they're absolutely harmless. They really are. They're nothing. I don't know why I was worried about them. Not, you know, not when I've had a ghost leviathan sort of going past me. Um, I didn't even need to worry about him. But I, I, I didn't want to do that. I want to do that. There. Right. That one is now joined on minus two to bolst, uh, to, to bolst, hull, bolst, bolst, hail strength, base hull, uh, something like that. Right, we go into there, and then I go to moon pool, and I put that on there. Right, so I can put a moon pool there, and I can put moon pools on here. Can I, how do I rotate it round? Um, well, I'm, I'm trying to rotate it round. I put it on. Why is it going that direction? I don't want it in that direction. It is trying to join on to the end there, and I don't really want it to do that. Uh, oh, hang on. If I bring it back this way, is it going to work? I'd like to put a... I can put a moon pool there so that it joins on to that bit. And I'm trying to rotate it round. I don't seem to have an option to rotate it. Which is very peculiar. So let me come over this way and maybe... No, it's definitely not allowing... The moon pool, it appears, can only sit in one direction. But I can put it there so that I've got two moon pools fairly close to each other. Like that. I've got an option to have a door coming there or a door coming on that side. 
I think I would prefer it to have it there like that. So I want two titanium ingots, some lubricant, and some lead. That should be fairly easy to find. Let's get rid of that. We'll go in here. We want to um, put the scanner room going, and we're going to be looking for pieces of metal. So we look in here. Now we've got creature eggs, gel sacks, metal salvage is the bits that we want. Yeah. Metal salvage. That's going to be the first one we go for. So we'll hunt around for a bit of metal salvage so that we've got plenty of titanium. And then once we've gotten all the titanium that we want, uh, we're going to need 20 pieces of titanium. And I got 8, 16, 20. I got just enough to get a full 20. So I just want all the metal salvage I can carry. Let's try this. Oh, the other thing I want... I do want to make those fins. We'll make a set of those... Um, charging fins and see how they work so we got metal salvage metal salvage metal salvage there's three i need several more of them yet where have we got oh there's some down there right down through here there's a piece grab you uh i want i got room for i've only got room for one more one two three four yeah that's it i've just got room for one more that's actually the last one that we'll want anyway which is a good thing, I suppose. Have we really used up all the metal salvage that is anywhere near us? We're getting through this fairly quickly, you know. We're sort of... We've stripped the area of resources completely, which is quite impressive when you start to think about it, the amount that we've actually gotten. It's taking the base a little while to find it, but we did get it. So let's come back in here. And we'll go back. We'll go straight back to the room now because uh, we don't want metal salvage now. We've got the, enough for the two titanium ingots. That's not a problem. Uh, no, the next bit that we're going to want is uh, well, we we know that we want lubricant um, so that we can finish building this one. Um, there we go. Moon pool. Lead. Lead is found in the medium ones, not the is it the limestone chunk? Sandstone. Lead is found in the sandstone chunk. So if I start it scanning for that, well, I deal with these over here. And I also wanted to make in here the new fins. And that was those. I need the normal fins, polyaniline, and some wiring kit. I think I've actually got all of that. Uh, we've got the polyaniline right there. And I needed a wiring kit, which I think is just a silver ore to make it. Even if I don't actually have it. Look in there. Did I have a wiring kit? Uh, apparently I didn't. So we go into there, and we will very quickly just make one of these. A wiring kit is two silver ore. I've only got one. The other one is in here. I know that I... I think I had it so that it was ready to make, and I, I didn't quite make it. So we get that, and I'll go and I'll build a wiring kit, and then I can take my fins... Oh, no, I need I need regular fins. I just... I need regular fins to do this. My, my fins that I have at the moment aren't enough. Um, because I've got, uh, Ultra Glide... Enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to regular fins, and these wirelessly charge your handheld tool. So they may actually slow me down, uh, but we do have the sea glide, so we can use that. And I figure that might actually be better now that I've thought about it for a bit. So personal right there. Equipment, I want fins. Where's the fins? Where's the fins? Um, seriously? I've got everything out. Oh, there. Fins. Right. I need two silicon rubber. Do I have silicon rubber here? Ooh. Ooh, I don't think I do. I think we need to go and get some of that. I think we need to go... Yes, we do. We need to go and get some silicon rubber. So let me just process the titanium down into the ingots first. And then when I got the two ingots, I should have enough room to go and get the um, creep vine, which we need to be able to make the rubber. Um, I think it's two creep vine per rubber, isn't it? Uh, creep vine seed cluster to make the... Uh, right, I need seed clusters for that, not the actual creep vine. Creek vine sample is for the fiber mesh. No, the seed cluster is for the silicon rubber. So we'll, we'll go and get that as soon as we've done this here. There's, that should be the last one. I should now be able to make two of these. And that's the two titanium ingots. And then we're also going to need some... Oh, I need another one of those to make that. So I need three of these. Actually, I'm going to need several. I'm going to need more than three. I need five of them, I think. Thinking about this. Right, so I need uh, two to make the, the fins. Is it two? Yeah, I need two to make the fins, which is four clusters. And then I also need one cluster to... I need four clusters in here. So one, two, three, four. And then I got a space of three. Let me just take something out of here so that I got room for the other one. Bodily aniline. And that one can go a minute. And then we'll go back out here. 
Right, so the next bit that I need is the creek vine. So let me just go to the creek vine a second. Creek vine seed clusters and not the actual creek vine itself. I need one, two, three, four, and five. Two for the, so you have a look here. Two of these, uh, four of them are for the rubber. One of them is to make lubricant so that then I can finish building that base over there. Uh, that moon base and then we've got the moon not moon base moon pool we've got somewhere to build that moon pool and then i can stick the prawn suit in there and then we can start worrying about the upgrades for the prawn suit we've got so much stuff that we have to do at the moment right let's go to you basic materials uh yep one lubricant there and i also want to make the two rubber up here two um silicon rubbers and then once i've done those i can make the swim the, the, the fins down here there and fins perfect Right, now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. So then I can go into here. Oh, no, 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 Not yet. I need to go into here. And there's the fins. I've still got a creek vine seed. Oh, it's just one to make the rubber. Ah, that makes a difference. Uh, right, I want you and I want you there. And then I will go into this one. And I go there and I will go to basic materials. So, yeah, it's uh, silicon rubber. Oh, I get two silicon rubber from one creek vine seed cluster. Not the other. I thought it was the other way around. That's where I went wrong, see. So I'll make another lubricant, because we might actually want that. And then I'll make one more of those as well. i got loads of silicon rubber now, um, which I think we need for some other things as well. So fin upgrades there. I want the swim charge fins. And we're going to take these out a minute, and we're just going to test them. So this is our normal speed. You can sort of see how fast things are going past us. It's with the ultra glide fins. So take the ultra glides off and we'll put the swim charge on instead. It is slower. We are going slower. We are back to normal speed rather than ultra glide speed. Switch those back over a minute. Yeah, we're definitely faster with these. So it's literally a choice between charging as we go or faster swimming. And I think we will go for charging because we've always got this one. Is it charging the battery on this one? How well is it charging the battery on it? So the main thing is, though, is when I'm exploring like wreckage or something, I'm now way slower with this. Um, I am way slower with this. We we'll go back onto here. Like power, forty-eight percent on this one. 49. When it, at least it is powering it up. There is that that could be said for it. This power is 24%. The power doesn't seem to drop on this one. No, it's it, even the power increases on this one. Okay. I, at the moment, I'm not sure. Welcome I'm gonna te I'm gonna keep the charge ones, and we we'll get rid of the other ones for a minute. We'll put those into storage here. Uh, we got space there, so put those in that storage there. I got a whole load of rubber here that I don't need at the moment, so I'm gonna put a couple of them in there, and I'll go into this locker and I'll put another couple of them in there. Uh, I don't need one of those lubricants either. I get rid of that one. So I'm looking for lead, I think, to finish that moon pool. Go into here. We can zoom down here, and there is the moon pool. Just need two lead, and that I believe is in the sandstone chunk. So we'll go and look for a couple of sandstone chunks a minute uh, using these um, ultra glide fins that we've got. It should slowly recharge us as we run along. If we can get a bit of lead here, there we go. There's one lead. Ideal. That's a good start. That is an excellent start. Grab that one as well, and that is silver. Silver is good. What did I just get that I could scan? Thought I'd seen something come up to scan. Somewhere there. Um no, let's not worry let's not worry about it at the moment. We'll go racing over to the sandstone over here. I've got a prawn suit down the bottom there that we need to really hope that doesn't sink through the floor or anything like that. That would be really, really upsetting if it did that at this stage in the game. Um oh, there's gold. Yeah, so it's gold, silver, or lead that we get out of these chunks here. And that one is down there on the side. What have I got here? I didn't get anything. Something fell down. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. And silver ore. Right, silver is actually good. But it's not what we want today. Sandstone. Should be up there. There we go. Right. Gold. And yeah, you go away. 
I'm not interested in you. I'm not interested in your shenanigans today. I'm interested in getting to... All right, I got two lead. I'm going to just hunt out a couple more of them a minute because we, we're probably going to want some more. Uh, we're going to want to go on a shorter trip. I think we want to go to where those sea treaders were. But what I will do, I, I do want to build some upgrades for the prawn suit. I feel that might be kind of useful, whether we get like a cannon or something to fend off some of the bigger stuff. Um, and then I'm not really sure what else we want to build. Uh, depth upgrades. I've been told depth upgrades are absolutely priceless. There was some more lead. Depth upgrades, I've been told, are absolutely priceless. They make such a huge difference. We want to be getting some depth upgrades. Uh, we will eventually look at building a base deep down underground where we were before. But we won't worry about it right now. Let me go over to here, and then we want to switch over to this moon pool right here. Um, and swim over to here. There we go. Oop, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to do that. I want to start building it. So we got lubricant. We got the lead on us as well. Should. There we go. We have another moon pool. Brilliant. Minus five to base hull strength. The problem with these moon pools is that they do use up quite a bit of go go juice power and um, whatever you want to call it. So let's just go over here. Maybe we could build another one of the thermal plants. That one right there. Magnetite times two. If we've got magnetite, we could build another one. We may not even need to, like, increase the number of these. We could just, like, dump a load of thermal plants all the way around that hotspot over there. I don't know if it's possible to do that. If it is, it would be very good. So let's go in here and take a look a minute. Turn you off. Right, power at the moment is sort of hovering. So let's turn off the scanner. And then we can run back around here and we want to get... Uh, oh, magnetite. I want to see if i got magnetite. I don't think I've got magnetite at the moment. I think I'm out of magnetite. We've freshly run out. i got one there. If that is all I've got, we need to go down into the deep cave underneath us. Get a bit more. Uh, yeah, that is literally the only one that we've got. And in order to make the thermal plant, we need two magnetite. The interior, exterior module right there. Thermal plant needs two magnetite. The titanium in the aerogel is not a problem. Not anymore. We got we got loads of that. Okay, so we, we can't do that at the moment. But there is our new moon pool. We come down here. We've got moon pool one there. Moon pool two is right through here. We can build a console in here as well, can't we? Yes, you have the Billy Nomates right there. This is the vehicle upgrade console, which we want to put in here as well. Is it? No, I don't think we can put a, a connection between those two. But yeah, we can come into here. And we've got an upgrade console that we can stick in here. Actually, let me do that. See what we need for it. Nothing there. Interior pieces there. Titanium, computer chip, copper wire. We should... I think I've got everything to do that with as well. Let's go through here. Uh, let's go through the right way. We want to go this way. Um... Copper wire is a few bits of copper. I've got copper in here. Yes, there is copper. So we can take that, and it's going to need it for the computer chip as well. I can't remember what else we need for the computer chip. Electronics, copper wire there. We can make another wiring kit. That's not a problem there. Oh, it's table coral that I need. That is the only other thing. I've got gold on me. Do I have table coral in any of these? Yes, I do. i got two table coral right down there, which is brilliant. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. I got, I got bigger fish to fry right now. There's the computer chip. It's the one that I want. Uh, right, if I got that one, then I can go onto here. Like that. And that one needs three titanium and another copper wire as well. Yeah, because the computer chip used up some of the copper wire. Let's go into here. And we go there. Electronics. Another copper wire. And three titaniums. I should have titaniums in here. There we go. Oh, I've got three. Perfect. Right, there's three titaniums. So we can go through here and we can build one more. Oh, nope, I want to keep going. It's in this way. There we go. It's like a maze, this place. It's brilliant. I actually really love how we're making this place work out. Um, no, I don't want you. I want... Help if I went the right way. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, vehicle upgrade console. Okay, so I can put one there. I can put one there on that side. I don't really want to put one there. 
I can put one there so that it goes on that bit, or over there, or on this end over here. I think the best place to put this actually would be there. That that would be the best place to put it right there. So we put that one in there. Vehicle upgrade console right there. There we go. Nothing docked at the moment. Get rid of that. And we'll jump down here. And we will go and we will get our prawn suit. And we've got the prawn suit. We're going to take it back Welcome up. So aboard, Captain. I love the, the voices that they do for all of these different ones. They, they are all really cool. So we're going to jump up here very carefully. Let's see if I can actually get all the way up. Oops. <laughs> I missed. Just missed. Only just, though. Right. We get underneath. Uh, I think I'm underneath right here. There, there, There's my target. And I need to go and get some water then. Once I've gotten up here. There we go. Made it. Nailed it. Right. Prawn suit is docked. Charging 93%. Let's go and get a bit of water. Uh, we're also going to need to colour him. I think we'll actually colour him like we've done with the other one. Uh, so let's go into here. And we want base colour. No. Name. There. And we do that. And then I can go to a red like that. Um, and then I'll say done. Right, so there's the red on him. What else to do? I think I did blue on it. Yeah, I did blue. We want blue on that one. So we go back on here and we'll do blue on it as well. So we want um, stripe. Was it the stripe that I did blue? Yeah, I honestly don't remember. I think maybe I did the stripe blue. Done. Let's go and have a look over here. I don't know if you can copy settings from one to the other. I'm going to run out of water in a minute. Yeah. Uh, stripe. No, the stripe was blue and then the interior was black. So let's go and have a little drink, shall we? Uh, you know, I could just do it with the Bulbo tree over here. Do it like that. Um, a couple out of that one. A couple out of this one. I've, I've really, I've run out of time for today, so we'll Vital carry on. Stabilizing. We we'll carry on with this next time. We've got upgrades that we need to find and make. We want to do some more exploring. We're going to go on a little adventure. Uh, we could do with making just like a couple of items with the, um, the prawn suits. We've got a couple of upgrades on there. I think that would work out really nicely. And I also want some suggestions down below as to what we are going to call our new prawn suit. What are we going to call this bad boy right here? This thing looks absolutely cool. But I need a name for it. We've got the Frith Marine. We've got Billy No Mates. What are we going to call the prawn suit right here? I want suggestions in the comment section down below. But that is all we got time for. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.